Well, are you planning a trip to San Diego this summer? Do what the locals have been doing for over 55 years, kicking back and soaking up the tropics at Bally High Restaurant. Our photojournalist, Tori Garcia, throws on his Hawaiian shirt and shares the history of this shelter island treasure with us. Woven into the threads of San Diego. It was built in 1953. It is a South Pacific adventure of sorts. It opened as Christian's Hut Christian from Mutiny on the Bounty, Fletcher Christian. After two years, the Tiki Torch was passed on to. Uh, my father-in-law purchased it in 1955. Uh, he bought it, stood in the dining room and looked at this marvelous view and said, well, this is Bally High. Nobody knew what he was talking about, but he was very well read. He loved the South Pacific and Bally High translates to top of the aisle. It's so unique. You know, back in the 50s, every city had a tiki temple, uh, you know, and, and the South Pacific was a big deal. And so many of those, they're, they're gone. The San Diego skyline might look a little different than days when customers wore skinny ties and wingtips, but the tropical charm and sense of relaxation hasn't changed in 50 plus years. We see a lot of locals when they have out-of-town guests because they bring them here to show off the city. The Valley High has been known to cool off the desert pirate as well. We have a lot of customers who come from Arizona because they have boats in San Diego and, and they come here, they come here in the summer when it's hot, they come here to, to vacation. And so we have a lot of customers, loyal customers who are, are, you know, we call them zonies, of course. The fine dining tiki atmosphere of the Valley High is one of a kind and showcases a delicious menu of cuisines and tropical cocktails. Our theme um, for our menu is Pacific Rim, and, and that gives our chef a lot of latitude. We have some great poo-poos, which is what appetizers are called in Hawaii, coconut shrimp, and we've got a wonderful, wonderful uh, venison carpaccio, which is very unique to us, with, with some fried capers and a little truffle soy aioli. Some very unique items, like our um, five-spice duck breast, um, that's served with a cauliflower puree, snap peas, and, and a, a plum orange glaze. We also uh, feature our um, char siu pork tenderloin um, that's served with, uh, with pickled vegetables and steamed buns. And then our, our diver, our sea scallops, um, which are seared and served with a glazed pork belly and a sesame spinach ginger soy butter. And what would a South Seeds voyage be without a selection of classic rum-based cocktails that will keep the wind at your back? And the Mai Tai is a signature drink, but it's not for the faint of heart. It's got three and a half shots of rum in it. Hi, my name is Julius. I'm a bartender here at the Bali High restaurant in San Diego. And I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, world famous Bali High Mai Tai. First of all, we're gonna put a little bit of orgeat syrup in triple sec. Then we're gonna top it off with a light rum and dark rum. After that, just a splash of sweet and sour. Give it a little bit of a stir. There you have it, Bali High Mai Tai. We also have drinks that, are, that aren't as strong, and most of them are sweet, so they go down easy. Another uh, famous drink that we serve here at the Bali High is called the Aloha Kiss. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little bit of uh, rock and rye, a little bit of uh, light rum, guava juice, cranberry juice, and orange juice. Give it a little stir. And there you have it, the Aloha Kiss. The history of Bali High has many more tales to tell, like the goof on top of the restaurant. I'll leave that up to you to find out. But what is known is that generations will continue to visit this shelter island treasure of San Diego. And this is truly the top of the aisle. It's the feel, it's that, it's that, that tropical feel that, that you can get here without getting on a plane flying to Hawaii. So much fun, and you can find out much more about San Diego's Valley High Restaurant on SonoranLiving.com.